Ladies, what do you do if unfortunately you're unable to conceive a child naturally and are not ready to consider adoption until you've tried all your options? Well, in this video, I will tell you the ins and outs of fertility treatment that are available to you and in ways in which you can preserve your fertility for the future if you have Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Welcome back to my channel, the only place for Crohn's and colitis tips, tricks and information. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video. And if you want to join the exclusive community of people who receive tips and tricks on living with Crohn's and colitis, make sure you sign up to my newsletter by visiting the link in the description box below. Now in this video, I'll be going over some of the techniques used to help couples conceive a child through the use of IVF, which I used to work in after completing my masters in reproductive medicine. Now, first off, I will start with fertility preservation, and this is simply where you can get your eggs frozen and stored. Lots of women do this who undergo radiation therapy for pelvic cancers, or in some cases, some gynecological conditions can be exacerbated by Crohn's and colitis, and so some may need a hysterectomy where the womb is removed, and so a way to still have your own biological children will be to freeze your eggs and have fertility treatments in the future. In some cases, you may be wondering if taking medications for your Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis could affect your fertility. And if that is the case, make sure you check out this video and I'll go into more detail about that in that video. And you can find the link to that in the description box below. So essentially what will happen is you'll see a specialist fertility doctor who will run some tests to establish your reproductive health. And then they will use an ultrasound to count how many eggs you have in your ovaries. This will give an indication of what needs to be done in the next stages. The idea with fertility treatments is to try and increase the chances of you conceiving. So you'll be started on gonadotrophin injections, which are given to help promote multifollicular growth. What this essentially means is that your body will produce many eggs, which will then be retrieved by a procedure called oocyte retrieval. And this is a technique done using something called a transvaginal ultrasound guided needle aspiration. You will be under sedation while this is going on. And once your eggs have been collected, they will then be matured in the lab via a process called in vitro maturation. And only the ones that have fully matured are the best for fertilization will be used from this point onwards. That is why you're given the injections to produce as many eggs as possible, because not all eggs you produce will mature or will be viable to use in the later stages of IVF. So now after this, a few things will happen depending on what you choose to do. The first one is freezing your eggs and storing them after they have matured until you're ready to have children. And this option in general is popular among women. The second option is you and your partner can undergo fertility treatment where they fertilize your egg by using the method called in vitro fertilization, or as you may have heard of it as IVF. Now this can be done with your partner's sperm or a donor sperm if you are going down that route to form an embryo, which is then placed back into you to allow a pregnancy to occur. You can also choose to have those embryos frozen and use them at a later date in the future. Now, in terms of men's fertility, when it comes to their sperm, if their sperm aren't the best, they can still be used because the best versions of those not the best sperms will be used and identified. But instead of IVF, you're more likely to have something called intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI, which just involves getting a single sperm and physically injecting it into the egg to fertilize it. Another option is having intrauterine insemination, where your partner's sperm is physically placed inside your uterus to facilitate fertilization. With this option, you don't have to go through the egg retrieval process I mentioned earlier, and so this method is less invasive. This method just helps bypass all the natural defenses you have against sperm, giving them more of a chance to fertilize your eggs. Now, a lot of people do fear that they may pass on their IBD to their child. And if this is one of the concerns that you have, then make sure you check out this video as I cover that topic in more detail as well. So to summarize, if you want to preserve your fertility for the future because you're worried what the effects IBD treatment may have on you, or if you're not sure if you want kids and want to have the option to decide later, then freezing your eggs or embryos are the way to go with IVF being your main option. Now make sure you check out these videos on more useful tips, tricks, and information about Crohn's and colitis. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video, as well as leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode.